Okay, hopefully we've looked at how you can create data tables, calculate the speed for each trial and calculate the mean speed. We now have to look at producing a graph. You always want to graph the independent variable against the mean dependent variable. Your independent variable may be depth of water or drop height. For everybody, speed of the wave will be your dependent variable. You could just copy and paste these numbers, but I can press equal for the first one add and drag it down, and that gives me those numbers. For the mean speed, I press equals, click on the first one. I'm given the option of autofill, I choose that, and these are what I want to graph. It is worth putting the headings in. So if I was putting in the if I was changing the height of drop and including the unit and the speed of the wave of wave travel. I'm including the unit meters per second. I highlight this information. I then choose insert chart and an okay graph may be given. Um, however, this happens to be the correct one. The default is not always there. You scroll down to scatter and it's a scatter graph that you choose. Once you have chosen scatter graph, you go to customize. You start with chart and axis titles. The title up here should be changed because at the moment it doesn't make much sense put something like the effect of changing the drop height on the wave speed. And hopefully you spell, your spelling is better than mine. And you notice it changes here. I can also change the horizontal axis title. I see here I've got meters, whereas it should be centimeters. The vertical axis title, it should be um, the mean speed of the wave. So I can add it in and these changes go in. I now need to add a trend line. I keep going down. I choose series. I choose trend line. There are several options, but in this case, the straight line is best. You can have a play with these ones. Uh, um, I would suggest asking me for which one is most appropriate before you submit your graph. You can change the color of the line. Um, you can change other aspects of it, but this is now what we need. And I want, if I want to copy this uh, graph onto a um, Google Sheet or a um, Word document, I simply click on it and copy it. Control C on my computer. I go to another document. I want to uh, put it in. I would simply go here, uh, paste. I would paste it unlinked. And I now have this graph, which is exactly what I need for the data that I have. And this is how you copy the graph across. You can do the same with the data tables. So for example, I want to copy this. I just copy the whole thing. Command C, go back, go to the correct location and put in a graph. And just to make sure these um, gaps disappear, choose here. And you have got a very nice graph ready to use.